right. This is the daily video update for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. Today is Monday, January 25th, 2021. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair, out walking on the Finger Lakes Trail in upstate New York this afternoon. You know, we've gotten away from this the last couple weeks, but over the course of the fall, we were doing monthly or weekly coronavirus updates every Monday as part of these daily update series. And it's about time for one of those. We haven't had one in a while. In the last couple weeks, we've actually had some cause for optimism. Somebody's using a snowblower over there, so I apologize if it's a little loud. We have to re-record the audio for this. In the last couple weeks, we've had some optimism on the coronavirus front. Cases in Lincoln are largely down. Oh, they're logging over there. Ailish would love to see that. Cases in Lincoln are down, and the vaccine is starting to go out. We've had over 15,000 vaccine doses go out in Lincoln so far since December. So the message for us is pretty simple as a place of faith and as a place that cares about being good citizens. It's to keep wearing masks, to be careful when you're outside. We're gonna get through this thing together, but we can't take our eye off the ball at this point. If you can, register for the vaccine. It may be a little while before you actually get it, but it'll be out there soon enough. All right, that's it for the coronavirus update. If I'm feeling particularly inspired, we'll have a longer update and uh, uh, post things uh, after this video on Monday. For now, my plan for the rest of the week is just to take a walk on this trail. This is the Finger Lakes Trail. These white blazes all through upstate New York are a single trail that goes through a couple hundred miles up here. I used to spend a lot of time on this trail in high school and in college. That was a good place to go back and think. I may not talk very fast during these updates because I'm realizing as I come out here on this very snowy upstate after, uh, New York afternoon that the white blazes of the trail actually blend in pretty well. Uh, with the uh, with the white of the snow, and I haven't done this in a little while. Um, so if I have more long, thoughtful pauses than usual, uh, it's probably because I'm looking for the next blaze and where I'm going. Anyway, my plan for the week of updates is this. We use Soul Matters themes every month as part of the church. We've been doing that for a couple of years now, and the place that it's most obvious in, in my work is probably in worship. But that's not actually the only place that we use the Soul Matters material. One of the places that we're most fond of them, of it, is in our small group work, our open circles, and our UU Connect groups during the pandemic. So, over the next four days, I'm going to take some of the discussion prompts from that small group work using the theme of imagination. And if you're in a UU Connect group or an open circle group, there's a good chance that you've actually spent some time with these discussion prompts in the last month. But if you haven't, and they spark something for you, then it may be a good time to think about joining one of those groups. I'm just going to pause here and just say, I love Nebraska, but I also love, 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 love the woods on a snowy afternoon. 
This is one of the most beautiful sights in the world right here. I'm excited to share it with you this week. See you tomorrow.